So it's time to repair the barrel. Now what I could do is just flip this barrel upside down straight over the riser so that that bottom section would be at the top and that would give me um, you know a riser that would work really well and then just cob around the base of it and it would be lovely and it would be fantastic away we go. But um, the trouble is when it comes time to uh, service it I'd have to chisel the cob out, lift the barrel off do all the hoovering inside that and all the vacuuming I need to do and then put the barrel back on and recob. I want to avoid that so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom out so where the barrel will go on this way up and then we'll put oops, the lid on and we'll put a little strip of stove gasket down into that bit there just you know a little section down in there fairly minimal gasket put that on and then we'll put the band clamp on and that'll snug it all down nice and sealed and it means that when it comes through to hard to um, uh, maintenance every year all i've got to do is undo the band clamp flip the lid off really easily give it all a vacuum out and i'm done with the uh, with the riser section much 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 quicker um, and it also means that when i burn this because i've got to have a really hot fire in this because if i just put this in the house and started using it half of the uh, you know the top half getting really hot would burn off the paint and it'd look really horrible and it'd uh, you know fill the house with all sorts of unpleasant um, uh, uh, fumes from the, the burning off of the paint i want to avoid that uh, so what i'm going to do instead is we're going to burn it um, in situ and it'll take all the paint off and then we can just come through wire brush it all off and then when it's on the heater and running and really hot We'll just wipe oil over it and uh, that'll um, polymerize onto the surface a bit like uh, you know seasoning a cast iron pan and you know it'll be good as and it'll last for a very very long time so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to flip this barrel over now to take the base out i'm going to use this saw here with a metal blade on it um what i'm going to do for that because of course getting that through the steel you know it's just not going to happen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the drill and chain drill a little slot just so I can get the blade in and then I can start cutting. Now, I don't know quite how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and get it as close to the thing, the close to the edge as possible. I was going to leave a little lip all the way around the inside, but to be honest, I think that this is so strong. I just don't need that reinforcement. So yeah, I'm going to cut it as close to the line as I can all the way around. And uh, yeah, I've got all the safety gear, ear defenders, because this is going to be really loud. It's going to act like a drum as soon as I start cutting it. Um, we'll see how that goes. So that went quite well. It's uh, now a hollow tube. See, there's the there's the top, well, the bottom. And that's just where I took the drill in just to make a few, and then I started the cut. And yeah, that that worked really well with the metal blade. Now I'm going to use just a file, and I'm going to go around the edge and just take off the last little burr that's there. Because otherwise, every time I go to pick it up, I'm bound to cut myself, and I'll shredded my hands by the time I get it fitted. So uh, once I got that done, I'm going to take it up onto the field and uh, we'll get a fire going in it and get that done too. So that's the barrel lit. That's uh, the ends of the joists that I removed from the floor um, and some old pallet wood that I had knocking around and some scrap bits of ply, uh, just you know, off cuts from jobs. And then I've just used a little bit of seasoned um, pine in this core of it just to get it all burning. But once that's properly in, you know, in flames, the flames will come right up. I've put it up on a few stone just to let air in underneath. And uh, that's it. We just let that burn and take the paint off. So you can see that at the bottom there is actually glowing red. When I came out a little while back, the whole barrel was that colour. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of wood in just to keep it open. And then I've put on the top just to burn off the galvanising because uh, again that is going to get pretty hot once it's going so once that's done its bit i'll knock that off and just leave that because i don't want to get too much heat into that um in fact it looks like it's getting there now and then i'll take that bit of wood off and we'll just let it burn out and call that good so there's the barrel you can see there is no hint of paint anywhere on it you can see where even the label was you know that's down to bare metal under a very 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 thin coating of rust and that's because it rained yesterday and uh, i didn't fetch it in because yeah, it's not going to come to any harm overnight so the next thing is to get a rotary wire brush onto it and just give it all a once over 
and uh, yep, then it's ready for use. And I also need to get the barrel lid as well. So here we go. So that's got a little bit of warping to it, but that's not bad at all. And once it's clamped down on top, that'll be fine. So, right, next step. So I've got a basic wire brush in a drill. You could do this with a hand wire brush. Yeah, it would just take a little bit longer, but I've got it, so I'm going to use it in a cheap drill that we don't use much anymore. And uh, yeah, let's give it a go. So that's got the surface rust off the whole thing. I mean, I could take it all the way down to base metal there so the whole thing's really shiny, but it's not necessary. It's all going to have a baked on coating of oil before I'm finished. Um, I'm going to take it into the house today, so it's not going to get wet. It's not going to get rusty, but um, because I am concerned that, you know, we've got a lot of, it's not a heated house at the moment. We're still, you know, in the process of constructing the mass heater. And because we've got a lot of cob drying off and things like that, uh, and you know, earth and masonries and stuff, it's a slightly damp house and I don't want to get any more rust on this. So I'm going to oil it now. This is <laughs> extra virgin olive oil. How posh is that? But it's not going to uh, bake on, of course, until I run it. This is just to protect the surface a little bit while it's sitting around in the house. So let's put this. I'm going to give it all just a very light coating all over. Just to protect it a bit and uh, even when I'm finished these bits of kitchen roll that are you know, soaked in oil they're not going to go to waste they'll go in the bin even these are going to be used for um, uh, fire lighting so that's the barrel ready to go into the house it's uh, it's still going to be burning in and it'll you know bake on the oil layer like it would with a cast iron pan and I need to do the same thing with the top but that's not going to rust at least that's uh, that's a lot easier I'll need to run a little bead of um, stove gasket around the top and put the lid on and then put the band clamp on and that will hold everything good and solid together. Uh, but I'm going to do that at the time that I actually fit it onto the manifold itself. So, yep, that's the barrel done. <laughs> 